Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, your one-stop shop for mature dialogue. We're going to get right to it. Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast, your one-stop shop for mature sports dialogue. I am your host, Earl Tima, alongside my co-host, my big unk, Alan Tima. Before we go any further, please don't forget to like the video, comment below, subscribe to the channel, and most importantly, hit the notification bell. That way you know when we upload new content. All right, we're getting right to it. Dame Dollar gets no love. None. Gets no love, man. I mean, it, it, well, let me pose a question. How, how if, if you're ranking uh, league MVP candidates, he has to be in the top three at this point, right? He's averaging what? Almost 29 and 7. His team is fifth in the West, a game behind. The fourth spot, and he's consistent. It's not the only year he does that. That's what I mean. It, it, it's always, but no one ever. He, he's never in that conversation. It's not like he plays with. The, I'm watching all these other players that they have, and they're putting up and throwing in the, the MVP conversation. What other players you talking about, man? Steph Curry. All right. Uh, I didn't heard uh, Steph. I didn't heard. Uh, 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 um, I, I, I can't even speak because it, it just makes me it makes me upset when I think Joker, right? And not not mind you, this is not a knock on them. This is not a knock on them. You got Joker, then you got over in Dallas, um, Luca, Luca. All of them, I didn't heard all their names, but yet his team is doing better than that. That FC. team, yeah. I don't understand the Joker joint, but this this is about. Dang, but yeah, I can under, I totally agree with that. But like, this is not no knock on any of those players that I named because they are, they should be in the, they should be in the conversation. But you know, they they're not even whispering Dame name in it. And every season he got to go through the same thing. His other help that he have is hurt, but yet he still keep them in the runnings, keep them in place to get for a playoff spot. Always. Yeah. And then when I hear about these other teams, that's their teams are not not some of them not even. I didn't seen it where some of these guys they're not even an AFC <laughs> this season. I've never heard that before. This season, you had when when they first start talking about Joker, and this is why I mentioned him because he, he's playing like a monster. But it, at the point at the time when they were saying this. They wasn't even. They was like tenth in the West. Well, I think the problem is there's there's no criteria for the MVP. It is. They just keep keep moving the goalposts. My point is, is always something different every year. Is it based on wins? <laughs> is it based on? It changes every year. Monster games. Because mm. that's what Joke is doing. Because at one point there was the AFC, and they were saying how he was top five in MVP. Yeah. Well, as far as a candidate. Heard that all the time. Dallas have been struggling this whole time. The whole time they're struggling. I keep hearing Luca MVP. How? And Dame gets no love. None. He he has to be probably. I remember one year it was the best player on the best team. I don't know how you changed it to that because MVP has never been the best player on the best team. All right. That, yeah. That, that's that's a little tough right there. The, it never been that most valuable player. What does that mean? Do most you take that player off his team, and what happens? It crumble. You take Dame off of Portland. Yeah, it's not even a debate. Okay. But then my point with that is, well, then you can say, well, then take Steph off of Golden State. They still not in the playoffs. They're not in. They they they're fighting for those positions with him. Yeah, and Dame has the fifth seat. Yeah, <laughs> that's my, my point. Yeah, like um, they're high. They're sitting in a higher seat than the Joker, and he have all his players with him. He don't even have injuries. They're just struggling. They're not consistent. Ra- rather, I can say that. Well, who's not consistent? Denver. Denver. Yeah, they're, Denver, they're they keep right. going up and down, up and yeah. down. They t- they're losing games that they shouldn't lose, and they're coming. They're coming. They get to the point where they come in to play for the big, big boys, and then they fall asleep against. Like their boys. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. 
I don't, I don't get it either, man. So, all right, we, we stated how the criteria changes every year, all right? Right. But that still doesn't explain why Dame doesn't get love. Like, you, you'll see him on a highlight reel because he, he gives you that material. Yeah. Like, he going to hit the game winners and stuff like that. It's Dame but time. It, he's consistent regardless of that. It, mm-hmm. He's just a great basketball player. Mm-hmm. Keeps his team in the running. In the fifth seed, man. Mm-hmm. He's averaging almost 30, seven assists. C.J. McCollum has missed how many games? I don't know. I don't even know. I don't even know what's why he's out. But it's just the point that Portland's still right there. They are. Yeah. I just, and I, was, I just watched him um, gun down Luka yeah. in the Dallas Mavericks. Yeah. You know what I mean? And still, they still put Luka like, and he's been doing this before Luka got in the league, Luka, Luka in the league, and he's still doing it. And again, Luka is, I like Luka, but it's, it's no knock on these guys, but it's time out for them to die. This They're dude, anointing cats. This, this yeah. Dame wasn't even making all star teams, man. I remember that snub? Yeah, yeah that that, that snub. You know how many times he got snub? I mean, yeah, he's a five time all star now, but he was having a period where it, it was, it's just constant disrespect throughout his entire career, yeah. and I don't get it. I, I don't get it. You made a, a, a case for, uh, comparing him to Steph. In the sense of how it's almost like he has to work two to three times harder than the, the next individual. Yet, when you look at the resume, now I'm not talking about championships. I'm talking about because MVP we're talking about this year. Right. Most of the candidates, with the exception of probably Braun and Embiid, when we're talking about record, talking about numbers and impact on the team, it should be his. Yeah. Well, he should be in the not. I'm not saying that he should be the MVP. I'm saying, I said, with the exception of yeah. LeBron and Embiid, who else is ahead of him? To me, none. Nobody. No. Not, but but then that's when you start, that, that's when the goalposts start to move. Because then they start coming in with the little other, with all the other things. And to me, even with them moving it, it still don't make sense. But what could you say? What, what doesn't he, he checks off every box. Every single box. Yeah. Oh, you, that's the point. It's like me and you having this conversation, and it's starting to seem like we're arguing and, deb- and debating with each other. Because and the problem with it is there's frustration, man. It's not frustration. It's 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 unexplainable. So yeah, you're looking yeah. for answers from me that I can't give you. You you and vice versa here. Mm-hmm. And then we're having a, a, a episode on this podcast on why he's not in the talks. And the, the and when it all come down to it, Dream Teamers, you try it, right there in the comment section. And I guarantee you, you can't you can't give me an answer yeah. or why. I, you you definitely can't give me a negative answer. Well, well, he doesn't do this or he doesn't. He checks all boxes. Yeah, it's just a matter of how you pose the question. We can ask why isn't he getting the respect, right? Mm-hmm. Um. What doesn't he do, right? Mm-hmm. People can't name much. Give me your top five, and I can guarantee you that he does the exact same thing that they do. And at least two or three of them, his team is better than him as, as far as standings. That's no debate. Period. Yet I, we, we're here discussing it. That, it. It doesn't make any sense to me. Mm-hmm. And, and it's a universal thing, pretty much. Like, if you look at, like, mainstream media, like, what they cover, no one really gives them the respect. And we can't say a small market. That that That's over with. Yeah. Small market? You, you, we're naming other players in small markets. That Denver, yeah. <laughs> Joker's getting yeah. a bunch of love. I, I, and we're not saying that those players aren't ballers. Is Dallas a, ma- a, a, a major market? Yeah. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a major market. It's a major market. But even then, Dame is Dame. Dollar. Dame time. You know, fourth quarter, it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. You know what he's going to game in and game out. You the know players we're do. talking about now. Yeah. You're not, you're not out of the game. You can, be that, you can be up 15 points going into the fourth quarter up against Portland. You already know. They're they calling it out. Dame time. Then he just he had a monster game against Philly. What recently? Yeah, he, 
He just gave Dallas the business recently. That's that's. But those every, are the narratives right there. But like, these are every night. This is like this is not. And and that's the thing about him. He's just not doing that because he's playing the big markets or the or the great teams today. The you know the highest seed teams. He does that night in and night out. He keeps that team in position to get W's. That's all it's about. Yeah. No matter who's on the floor with him. This one is out. So what? Dame's still here. And he's everything that <laughs> the media states that they want, right? Uh, he does everything the right way, mm-hmm. right? You know, his name up in negative stuff. He's a team player. Mm-hmm. His, uh, his uh, teammates love him. Coach love him. Mm-hmm. He stayed with the team. They love that, right? Right. Loyalty. Mm-hmm. And you still forget about him. I'm not talking about showing the highlight of him hitting buzzer beaters. This man should be, just like he's a perennial all-star, he should be in the, in the talking discussion. of a can- the, the MVP talk every single year, for at least the last five years. So that's basically why, do I, why are we having this episode, because we want to know why. And, and I'm quite sure oh, everybody tuning in is looking for us to give them an answer. But there is no answer for this. Yeah, that's why we're discussing it. Like, yeah. Let us know in the comment section. Is he in the MVP race in your eyes? And why do you think that most people overlook him? Let us know below. Because I'm out of answers. If I, I don't think I've ever had one. There is no answer. Yeah. The, the, the only answer is pulling a goal post. And when he reaches, when, and when you prove that, that he's doing where you moved it to, it gets moved left, right. Up, it don't north, south, east, west. It's just they just keep moving. The the help that's moving it is gonna have a hernia. Cause wow. it is is if if more of this topic come up and pressure is asked to mainstream of why this is happening, it that goalpost is gonna get so hard that they can't they they're not gonna be able to lift it. And they'll throw them in there, but they never give it to them. Yeah, like a formality just yeah. to say we did it. Right. But at, it needs to be some real consideration, man. Mm-hmm. I don't know, man. Uh, I, we, we posed a question before. So I guess in the comment section, let us know. Do you think Dream Team is, do you believe that he's an MVP candidate? If, if not, tell us why. And tell us why you believe that he doesn't get the, uh, the nationwide exposure or respect that he deserves. All right. Well, I can tell you, I'm in some, some um, Portland Trailblazers groups community groups and they love him they they yeah, love him they, there rip city love him rip yeah. city love him yeah and uh it's, it's it's a lot of them out there well the real ball fans love him you know what i'm saying i'm trying yeah. to figure out but we we don't vote on mvps yeah exactly. yeah yeah so there you have it man this is team sports entertainment the podcast i'm your host earl tima big on alan tima is my co-host I don't know. Like, subscribe. Yo, this whole this topic got my mind going. I'm frustrated. <laughs> I don't know why because you, you, it's, it's it's moving. Yeah, but there's no answer. You can't even. We can yeah. we can only bring it up. That man deserves better it, than that. Yeah, he deserves better that than makes that. Makes sense. Man. Hit the notification bell. That way you know when we upload new content. All right, we out of here. Team Sports Entertainment. Y'all be good. Peace. Dame Dollar. <laughs>